So let's get this party started. <laughs> and John has been up here trying to, we're trying to get the lighting done and I've got one, two, three, four, five lights and I still have shadows. I don't know. He took, brought this up here. This is so typical. He ran this off of the lighting and of course it didn't work. And I was like, I've been trying to tell you I need somebody to help me. Okay, so we are going to do, I'm going to try to do the exact look that I did in my video yesterday. And there are several things that I want to explain to you as I go along. So, the Lawless Foundation I have used for a while now, probably a couple of months. But this is what I have kind of figured out. Whatever is making this, you know, um, of course it says Shake Well. The color I use is Mojave. Whatever is making this natural and whatever, no preservatives, is also making it a little bit hard to work with. And for instance, mine will not pump out. I don't know what the deal is. Um, it's not, it's not clogged. I don't ever have any other problem with that. But, so a lot of times I have to open this and put it on my hand and you can see how thick it is. And this is my second color and the other one was the same way. And another thing I've noticed is it doesn't dry. It's like it goes on your skin and you can buff it in and buff it in. You can powder it, but it doesn't want to like dry. It just stays kind of on your skin. And I don't know if it, that's because there's no alcohol in it or what. So what I have, the only way I can wear it is if I mix it with my double wear, which you know I love. And this color, Rattan, kind of helps me do that too. And this is the double wear um, little pump. So, like yesterday, okay, first we want to, okay, back up again. So, when I'm using this, if I want this to work, which I do love it because it looks luminous and fabulous and very bombshell, yummy, all day. It really does. So... I want to use it, but the only way I can make it work is if I kind of work everything else around it. And don't put on a luminous, moisturizing, dewy primer. Put on one that is going to grab it, and it's one that's made to um, make it stay on. So I've been using one of my favorites, which is the YSL All Hours. And, <clears throat> excuse me, so just put a little bit on your hand like that. But I have been loving this brush right here. It's that Real Techniques um, Instapop face brush. And it's good to use your, whatever brush you're gonna use for your foundation, use it for your primer. And that way it kind of primes the brush too so that your um, foundation will not get stuck in the brush. Okay, so I'm gonna Prime all over like that. So now I'm going to put one pump of the rattan and I'm going to try to put one pump of this. Let me see if I can get it to come. Ah, I did. Okay, it came out. So I must have shaken it up. So you can see that this color Mojave is a little bit darker than rattan. That's why I want to order the one down. And I'm going to just mix that on my hand like that. And I'm going to start where I want and need the most coverage, which is my cheeks. So I'm gonna blot there, and then I'm just kinda placing it all around, not putting any more on my brush. And I want to kinda spread it out like this first. And now, I'm not gonna use any more of that. I'm going to just start working that in and I do put it on my eye lids and work it up in my hairline. I can't believe how quick gray hairs grow in my hairline. Okay and then I don't put extra down my neck but I always whatever you know when I'm at the end of my makeup I always drag it down. And I'm getting ready, I have an appointment to have the V-beam done on my neck um, in February. So that'll be interesting to see if it helps that discoloration. 
sun damage and um, because the IPL would not help it because it's vascular, you know, this right here. And um, the V-beam is supposed to be the best one for that. And then it also is supposed to help with other things. I just don't, I don't think any kind of beam is going to tighten your neck, but so much. So I'm not doing it for that, even though that would be great. I'm doing it for discoloration. I mean, it is luminous, but it's got that Estee Lauder in it. So it's going to set not all the way, but we're going to put lots of powder on. Now this look, I don't know if I'm going to do an intro for this or not. I, sometimes I hate intros. I'm kind of like, get on with it, get on with it. But this look is not going to be natural. This is going to be a bombshell. If you have watched Annie Lawless, she is a little bombshell and I love it. So there, there is a time for natural makeup and there is a time for going all out. And this is going all out. And I have to say, it wore so well yesterday and I felt so good all day. There's just something about full glam. You know, even if you're not, we just went out to eat. We came home, I took a nap, I got up, I went to my mom and dad's and hung out and I came home, but I still felt good all day. And I don't know, that's worth something to me, even if I'm not going anywhere. Plus I did a video and that always makes me feel good. I've got my damp beauty blender. Make sure I have most of the creases and every excess out of my eyes before I even put on my, you just don't want build up under your eyes. So I'm gonna use both of these. Fenty concealers. I love these. I'm going to use this lightest pinker one, number 200, right in the darkest area. And then I'm going to use this, the 210, um, in like more of like those just highlight areas. And maybe um, just the whole center of my face. And then I'm going to take a beauty blender and I'm going to start down at these. I'm going to let that set just a minute because if you'll go ahead and let that under eyes set just a minute, it becomes kind of thicker and more pigmented and it won't move around as much. combo is perfect. And then this kind of, you know, I kind of push it up and out like that. And then you can take what's left and go over your eyelids like that. Okay, this is where it gets fun and good. Okay, the Brightening Translucent Powder. And I'm going to put a bunch, try to put a bunch in the lid. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and just do what I never do and kind of bake under my eyes. And I need to press out all the wrinkles that you can. I'm the worst baker. Okay. So do like that. And then yesterday I even did this. I haven't done this in so long. But I have to say, it made a difference. Okay. I'm going to use the translucent for everywhere else in the dark. That's what I want to brighten. And then I'm going to go in with the plain Seal the Deal tr Classic Translucent. And let's just go with a big powder brush and get a little bit, like this is just a fluffy one. And I'm going to just kind of just put enough on there so that nothing catches when I want to put it on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and dust off that and dust off that. 
And can you see how much that brightened underneath my eyes? It's amazing. Okay. Now the fun part, and I think this just really makes a big difference, is the golden translucent, which is kind of like a bronzer and a, and contour and everything all in one. So I took this cheek brush from Smashbox. It's the Buildable Cheek. And so I just went in with this powder, kind of, and got it in my brush like that. And... Kind of did like that. Look how pretty it is. Oh, it is gorgeous. Okay, now I'm going to sweep it. And because this brush is kind of, you know, it's it goes out, but it's still, it's just curved just right. It just goes up around your hairline just right. I'm going to get a little bit more. And I'm kind of working, you know, see how the powder is over here? I'm kind of working in the powder dust right up here so I don't get too much. Go around your forehead like that, and then I'm going to get a little bit more, and I'm going to go under here and do the jawline and down the neck a little bit. And I don't have any self-tanner. I didn't even do my Laura Geller today because I have on long sleeves. I probably should have done my neck in decollete, but I didn't. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit more and bring it up a little bit. Like that, on my cheekbone. I'm kind of connected. And maybe do just a little bit across my nose. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I think it's so pretty. Okay. So that's all I'm going to use of that. If you wanted to go in a little bit more, let me turn this light off and see. We'll do a little bit more, like right here. And do my neck. Okay, and look at the sheen that that translucent brightening powder left. It's gorgeous. So, I don't want to use, here's my other one, here it is. That's the powders, and I do really like all three of them. I'm glad that I went ahead and got all three of them, because I would have been wondering, and I would have substituted with something else, and I like the fact that it's all like the same, you know, but in different shades. So, yesterday I was thinking, well, I want a blush, but I don't want to ruin that big cheek and highlight there. So, I thought I would take this Jouer blush and just use the Touch Me side, which is the more shimmery, highlighty side. And I'm going to use this brush, which is the Sephora Featherweight Blending 93. Get some in my brush. And just go right on that cheekbone like that. And that just adds the slightest hint of peach and a little bit more highlight and shimmer. And then if you wanted to go okay, across your nose, isn't that beautiful? I just love it. And if you, of course, if you want more color, put more color on. Okay, now we are headed into the eyes. Um, I just looked at my makeup in my mirror and it just looks yummy and just flawless. Now, in person, it definitely, I mean, it looks like makeup, but it looks like good makeup. You know what I mean? It doesn't look bad. It just is a makeup-y look, but I love it. Okay, now, I've already powdered my eyelids. I'm going to do my brows after my eyeshadow, just because that's what I did yesterday, and it turned out good, so we will do that. Okay, so here is the star, and it is the One Palette, and I had watched her tutorials, and I watched, you know, where she was explaining each color. So I kind of went by some of the things that she said. I'm going to be using these Louise Young brushes. They're numbered the same. They've just got a V on them. So this is the LY39V. So the first color I'm going to go in with is First Base. And it's this light color. And that just lays down, you know, a base on your eye for everything else to, you know, glide on 
And one thing I love about these shadows is look at that. No crazy fall breaking up and just crazy dust everywhere and just that bothers me so bad. That's that's one of the reasons I don't go to the Anastasia palettes that much. Okay, and then the next thing that she said is good to do is to go in with this everything color first. And then that just kind of lays the, it's like I always say, if you put that good crease color in there, it's, you know, it's gravy from then on. So this is the LY38V for vegan. Okay, and so I'm going to just go ahead and map out kind of like where my creases, crease colors are going to go. And this is just a fleshy, peachy type color. And this color is dusting up a little bit more than the other one, but still not bad. So I'm going to go in here, kind of frame my eye like that. And then I think I'm going to, this is one of her older brushes. This is just the, doesn't even have a name on it, but the older crease brush. I'm going to go in with that same brush and okay then the next color I think I went in with yesterday was complicated and that is the one that is like uninterrupted by MAC and someone said that they brought that back as a permanent color I don't know I, I didn't even think to look it up but this is just beautiful it's this color right here and so put my brush in there a little bit and then I'm going to go in the crease and then I'm going to kind of V it out a little bit just bring it out and blend it out and it kind of just blends right into that other color that we put down of course you'll do your eye shape you might not want to come in as far, but I guarantee you, you'll like this color. And then I'll just connect it and bring it out like that. Okay, and then I'm going to also bring that underneath my eye a little bit. I'm going to take the same brush, the L39 that I did the first color with, because I want this to be a little bit tighter up to the lash line. Like that. and then kind of connect it a little bit. Okay, and then when I was looking at everything, I thought, oh gosh, isn't that color pretty? I think it was cutie, this little pinky color over here. So I'm gonna use that same flat brush. I'll just wipe it off. And I grabbed some of that and I put this on my lid and because I'm putting the winged liner on a lot of that is going to be covered up anyway but it just looked so pretty to have that peeking out of my lid there if you can see how pretty that is okay and then I can look at the colors and tell which ones I used. I put a little bit of this Play Cool, which is a little bit of a um, cooler tone brown. I remember doing this, just like on the outside of my eye, and then kinda working it just in that outer edge like that. Okay, and then I took this Butterflies, which is the yellow, and I took it on a, I think it was, might have been this brush, it was a fluffy, pointy brush. This is the L38V. I took a little bit of this yellow, and I just ran it right at the edge of this, just to kind of give it that little bit of fade out. Oh, it's so pretty. I, have, I don't think I've ever really try a yellow shadow like this. Can you see that, how that does? 
this is very common for me to go ahead and put on my liner and mascara and everything and then go back in a little bit else with maybe a darker color on the outside. This Lancome art liner is one I have used for many, many years before YouTube and I always go back to it. So this long wand is really good at getting down here and then I just kind of bring it, I'm going to have to bring this mirror up, bring it across my lash line and I like to take it from here, not work from outside in, but I would like to work from right here and just kind of flick it out across my little bone right there and then I take it from there and bring it back in and across and then I fill it in like that and then I'll just kind of connect it and smooth it out like that and then you can decide if you want to make I'm not going to mess with that wing again until I do the other side because chances are I'm going to have to go back and forth. So I don't want to build on this until I've done this one so I can have room to play with it. So do the same thing again on this eye. Okay, now take it from the very end and just give it a lick like that. It might look, see how it looks crazy, but you can, it gives you a guide. And then you can just come back across and then fill this in. And of course, this side is higher than this, but I, I mean, I knew it would be. And then kind of round that out some. Okay, so I'm going to kind of connect and bring that out just a little bit, like that. I want it to kind of run straight across, like from the highest point of my eye out. See how it does out there? That way when you look up. It lifts your eye. Okay, and that is pretty good. Now, I want to make this look not so liquidy and a little bit more smoky. So, I will take a little um, liner brush. This is the Louise Young LY37V. And this palette, just like she said, has every color you need. It has this black in it. And so I'm going to get some black and then kind of knock it off some so it doesn't get everywhere. It probably still will get a little bit, but it came right off yesterday. And I'm going to kind of fill in the black and then kind of dust over the top. And I don't know if you can see. Let me pull you in. Kind of go over, just over that top. And it just gives it a smoky kind of um, more smoldery look that goes with this. And it evens out that top line. And it kind of darkens the black too. I'm just going to go a little bit in here. Like that. Let's do the lips. <laughs> Every time I look in the camera, I think, oh my gosh. Okay, so I see so many people use MAC Oak. And I think, okay, why don't I like MAC Oak? So I brought out my MAC Oak. I have sharpened it. Yesterday I did it without sharpening, so sometimes um, MAC pencils, you need to sharpen them to keep them kind of fresh on the outside. So we're going to start with that. Right on the outside of my lip line, just not really overlining, but the kind, the part that's not really pigmented, the makeup is on it. that. 
and then like that. So that is the oak. And then I went back over with this, which is such a good, I always forget about how good this is. The Edward Best Natural, and you get two of them when you order this. But it is a little bit um, darker. It's more like ideal. It's a little bit more of a darker, rosier tone. And then stripped down is actually kind of a little bit lighter and a little bit more orangey, orangey brown. So like, like always, one's a cool tone, one's a warm tone. So then I went back over with this. Like that. Just lightly. And then this is the Lawless Cameron, and it is a nude. It's a liquid lipstick, but so far it has not dried out my lips. And it is, all of, all of these products are a little goopy. I'm not sure if it's because of the, the ingredients, but, uh, so I usually just put like one swipe on and then kinda arc it in with my finger. That way it gets in. My lips are real liney and creasy. And kind of work it into that uh, lip liner. And then maybe even blot once. And so if that's, you know, if you like that light look, I am just always scared. It's not that I don't even like the color. I'm just scared that that's going to be too dry for me. And so I... This gloss is amazing. I've shown it to you before. It's the Huda Beauty Angelic. And you put it on. It's perfection. It makes everything better. You could put, it's like Celeste. It's just more opaque than Celeste. It is just, it's a must have. It's a must have. Okay, so there are my lips. And sometimes I get like makeup build up all around here. I have to work it out there let's do some mascara I'm not going to do any primer I'm just going to put I opened a new little tube of this Dior pump and volume and it's pretty fabulous so I'm going to do my mascara for the lower lashes I'm going to use this roller lash this just stays on real well and I like how the um Little wand is curved. I need some more of my MAC. You know, and I did not put hardly anything on my lower. Let me put a little bit more. I feel like I need some. Let's put some of this steady on my lower lash line. I feel like I did something more yesterday. Knock it off a little bit. See how everything just, gosh, that's so pretty. And then we are not going to stop there. We are going to go in with that yellow butterflies. And we're going to go right at the edge and blend over that edge with the yellow. To blend it out. Ready? Okay. We're not done up here. We're just done for the minute. Okay, now I'm going to use my lash glue. I'm still using this little baby one I got in the lash, those other lashes. And I'm going to go ahead and put my glue on these lashes. And because I have this wing liner, It'll be pretty easy to put these on. It's when you don't have hardly any liner that makes it really difficult. And it makes it hard to wear these huge lashes like this. So go ahead and take advantage when you're doing a look like this. And go ahead and wear your big, pretty lashes. It'll all come together. Okay, I'm going to let those dry for a minute. 
And what I'm going to do now is take this long, thin brush, and I'm going to go back in that steady, right on the tip, and I'm going to go from the very edge of this wing in and just do a little bit of that color. Like that. Oh, it's just beautiful. So now can you see how like it's that color, then the last color, then the first color, and then that yellow. It's just beautiful. And I haven't even done any highlight. Just wiping off these same brushes. Let's do this casual little cream. I don't even know if I used this yesterday. But let's just do it right here. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. I don't even know if I'll need that. I bought the whole um, lash I mean, brow kit up here again to do, but I don't know if I'll even need that high brow. Okay, so I'm using that casual in here too. Beautiful. Okay. So we're going to do my brows, but let's go ahead and try to put these um, lashes on. And I'm going to set these right here. The most important thing is I want the front to be in the right place. Like that. And then the back, I can kind of just sit down. It doesn't have to be all the way to my lashes because I have that big wing to work with. But I don't have a lot of room up front, so you want this to be right. Okay, it looks like this one I might have brought a little too far in because it's not wanting to stay down. So give it a good bend like that. Those of you with curvy eyes, you know what I'm dealing with here. And bring it a little bit further out. Maybe I was asking a little too much for it to go that far in. I think I was. So that blends a little bit better. And then just stick that down like that. Yep, that's much better brows. I brought my whole little kit up here that is pretty awesome. And brush them out. Brush them back. And this is that brow pencil. So let's just see. Should we? I hate to mess up what I got going. But just a little bit. And then this stuff, I couldn't, I can't get over how good the um, color is. So cute. Okay, so I'm going to dip it in there and start at the tail and kind of fill it in. I have no regrets getting the light. You know, I was debating whether to get the light or the medium, and I'm just so excited that I got the light. Because... For it to be, to fill in this good, I wouldn't want it to be too dark. I mean, I cannot believe I haven't tried this. It's so easy. Okay. We're going to go all the way today. We're going to just... And I usually do the same thing with my brows. Like, I won't fill all, that all the way in until I've done this brow and kind of... Give myself room to match them up. Okay, I'm gonna start at the tail and just get it filled in. I haven't heard on fleek yet lately. Brows on fleek. Am I too late for that? Okay. I'm barely putting any of this on my brush. Okay, and then just start flicking that up. Like that. Wow. This gives me what I've always wanted, like stronger brows, but not crazy dark. 
Okay, I'm gonna do, again, I'm gonna do just some flicks up this way. I don't want them too squared off, so I'm gonna kinda flick them all over the place. You think that's good enough? I think that's good enough. Brush them through. This stuff already feels like it's got some kind of little bit of hold in it. And then I'm going to use the brow gel like I did yesterday. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe this is me. I swear. Okay, so now I'll use the comby side. Come through it. Amazing. Okay. I feel like I should zoom out now so you can start. Okay. Now I'm going to take that roller lash and do my. Oh, before that. I think this was a big part of the look too. It's my one of my favorite lower lash liners and I always kind of wipe it off so it doesn't have any googly goo on it, like powder or anything from the, the last time. And I'm gonna run it right in my waterline. Mainly in the, you know, kind of like rubbing it in the lashes. And that's so much better. It still gives you that smoldery look, but it's not black, you know? Just so perfect. Okay, now roller lash on the lower. Okay, and that's it. And I did notice that right um, in front of the lashes, maybe I could stand a little bit of darkening just to match those up a little bit. But it's a minor detail and you wouldn't have to do this. Beautiful. I hope that you can see everything. And I will try to uh, maybe take some pictures outside and put it at the end of this video. That way you can see in a different light. It is so cloudy today and it's terrible. That's why I'm up here. Otherwise, I would have been downstairs. So, um, and I don't know if you guys remember when I bought this. I think it's, um, I can't remember what brand, but I'll try to link it down below. I'm pretty sure it's probably sold out. It's just like a little zip up sweater type thing. And then I've got on my favorite yoga pants from um, New York and Company. And um, I will totally probably put on, oh, I don't know, I'll probably put on a big leather jacket and maybe boots, or I might even just put on like my Gucci fur slides or something. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, leave me comments down below of other things that you would like to see. And I do have some, like just the end of my favorites for the year of 2018, like favorite purchases, or I don't know how I'm gonna do it, if it's favorite purchases or favorite um, things. I, I think it's gonna be like favorite accessories and purchases, like clothes and shoes and sunglasses and stuff like that. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.